What you're looking at right here is the first 10 minutes of the Disney Pixar film Incredibles 2. The dark lines represent the volume. Well, now it's white lines, but the dark lines before I clicked on it <laughs> represent volume. So these little bits of waveforms, and then they go all the way up to here, which isn't the full box, but there's probably a spec reason for that. I'm just going to tell you guys, and this is for my own audience, but maybe people who find this video randomly, this is awful audio mixing. As far as I'm concerned, they did a terrible job. I'm going to put on screen right now the exported what's called dynamic range of the first 10 minutes of this movie. The sound designers, the audio mixer or mixers that made this film, they think that this is exciting. They think that a 20 decibel volume range is exciting because we could have explosions above little tiny bits of dialogue. By the way, I didn't mention, this is the center channel only. This isn't the full mix. This is just one channel of audio. So you can only imagine that the overall volume is possibly louder. And I'll just zoom in on this so you can see it. This is the dialogue. I can't play it for you because Disney would copyright claim this video. But trust me, this is the spoken dialogue. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom. Have you ever gotten into an argument with your girlfriend or spouse about late night movie watching and, you know, turn that down. You just woke me up and all that stuff. Well, this is why, because you turn it up so that you can hear this, this little bit of dialogue, right? They're, they're, it's like they're whispering. And then all of a sudden you got doors closing. I don't even know what this is, an airplane dropping a missile or something. I don't know, but yeah. And guess what? It's not exciting. It's annoying having to hold the soundbar remote control in my hand for, I believe this movie is like almost two hours long. That's not cool. And then if you go to the movie theater, you got to wear earplugs because this, this is like a concert, a rock concert level stuff. I mean, look, I do music mixing. And six decibels is double the volume, okay? Six decibels. 12 decibels is triple the volume. 18 decibels is quadruple the volume, okay? It's four times louder than what you set it to. If this was broadcast on TV the FCC would fine the station. So I'm assuming that at the broadcast stations, they have some type of compression going on. And speaking of which, yes, I know there's a night mode, but that is hit or miss. Plus it screws with the way the audio sounds. So my question is why can't they just mix something that doesn't have such big variations of volume? I'm sorry, but to me, this is unacceptable. By the way, the EQ, the frequency balance in this film is fine. It actually sounds really good. But the volume, it's unwatchable if you have other people in your apartment or your house. You know, it's like you have to have a dedicated home theater that's soundproofed so that you don't get a divorce. Like, seriously, doesn't Disney get it? Doesn't Pixar get it? This is garbage. This is, I've said enough. Thanks for watching this realhomerecording.com video. You can get monthly audio engineering news and exclusive videos by signing up for our newsletter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and consider subscribing. Have some questions? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If Adam has helped you produce better quality audio, then please consider becoming a monthly patron or donate via PayPal. Bye!